Maya and I got married, and uh, how? I don't remember a wedding. You know, it's it's all pretty much a blur to me after the bar. You know, a chapel, a ring. <laughs> Nada. I don't understand. How did you two manage to bulldoze your way to the altar and leave us on the sideline? I have no idea. Eyes oh, not to question why. I mean, this was supposed to be about us. Supposed to be about proving that love needs no prenup. Oh, gee, and you blew it. <laughs> Viva Las Vegas! Uh, maybe it's a joke certificate. Yeah, you know, you're probably right. I mean, we don't remember because there was never a wedding in the first place. Mm. There's no way I'd willingly agree to marry you. Well, I'd certainly never twist your arm unless being married to you got me a green card. There's only one man who knows why I'm not Mr. Tracy Porter Maine this morning, and I'm gonna find him. The last thing you are is an obligation. Are you denying that you feel responsible for me? Of course I feel responsible. Your life's at risk because of me. The guilt just pours off you in buckets. It's not about concern. guilt. You're not much for self-awareness, are you? <sighs> Siobhan, look, I, I care about you. Okay? I mean, when I'm with you, I, I can just be myself. There aren't any judgments or expectations or preconceived notions. What do you want me to say? I, I'm not... I'm not ready for you to go. But you live here? And I live across the ocean? It has to end sometime. Well, we'll talk about that when the danger's over, then. The Balkans after Brenda, not me. Look, you can spin it however you want, but it's not safe for you to go back to Ireland. And and I would feel a lot better if you were here so I could keep an eye on you and make sure that everything's okay. I mean, I can call the department and have a few guys look after you. Well, I, I might be safer here. I might not. But if I stay... I do things my way. It's fine. Oh, good. I'm not trying to control you. Good. I'm glad we finally agree. Okay. What What are you doing? Where are you going? Well, I'll need to find a job and a place to live. This is kind of... Hey, Lucky, it's, uh, it's Nicholas. What were you saying? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Hi. Hi. Uh, I was relieved to hear that you're all right. Thank you. Would you tell your brother that I won't be moving in or depending on him in any way? Excuse me. Okay. Wow. Well, you not waste any time with Siobhan, are you? Jax, you know what? I am standing well away from this whole mess with Brenda, all right? All I'm asking is that you speak to your son. I just want to know how Brenda's doing. That's no, all. Don't no, make a big no, deal out no, of this, okay? No, 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 no. What you're doing here, what you're doing here is you're asking me to go behind Carly's back. And do you remember what happened the last time we did that? Huh? When Carly found out that we were both lying to her about Michael's shooting? Yeah, the you-know-what hit the fan so hard I'm still washing it out of my hair. So why don't you do us both a great big favor and just leave me out of all your drama with Carly, okay? I just want to know how Brenda's doing, okay? Carly doesn't like her, so if you get the information from oh, man. if you get the information from Dante, you'd be saving us a lot of drama, wouldn't you? You'd be saving us. You know what? Your wife has got a serious double standard, a lot of nerve. She's gonna go around bell yaking about Brenda. I mean, she shouldn't change her underwear without she talks to, to Jason and Sonny first. Well, Carly does have a tendency to overreact, but in this case, her fears are justified. And what the hell does that mean? Look, I'm in love with Carly. I want to spend the rest of my life with her and live happily ever after, okay? But having Brenda around, it just it brings back old memories, okay? Okay, well, that one I understand. I know that uh, fighting temptation is a lot easier from a distance. Look, I just want to know that she's taken care of. Okay, that's it. That is it. Why well, go looking for trouble when it's not even there? If Brenda and Dante have nothing to hide, why can't they admit that they knew each other? Maybe it's just that. They have nothing to hide. I need some more coffee. You want coffee? I Did want you need introduction. It or anything? The man who can tell me what went on between Brenda and Dante. You are relentless, aren't you? 
I'm not going to let Jason risk his life because of information he doesn't have. I need your help to find out the truth about Brenda and Dante. Oh, you're going to be sorely disappointed when you find out the truth is all Dante did for Brenda was open up her car doors and maybe fish out a green M&M's. But you got my curiosity going, so yeah. You get your favor, I'll set up a meeting. Alexander's death was self-defense. Why don't you just call it in? Well, because I was trying to protect Brenda. Yeah, dumping the body made it look like a murder. Well, if I had called it in, the Balkan would have found out that Brenda killed his son. She'd be a target, probably dead. Look, I did what I had to do to protect her. Unfortunately, huh. that meant I had to break the law. Wow, so you've been covering a major crime. What, what, what are you, you talking? You're acting like you, you wouldn't have done it yourself. Yeah, I did do it, but you tracked down the real killer and turned him over to the court. No, I did not know that the judge was going to send okay, Michael to You know what? Prison. I'm just curious. How can you cover for Brendan and just turn Michael in like that? I was trying to save Michael. I know what it's like to live with a crime that you've covered up and knowing that one day it's going to come back and bite you in the ass like it's doing to Brenda right now. At least I spared him that.